Good evening, everybody. It is uh, April 12th. It's the launch of our new expanded MOOC, which um, we started with uh, a class that back in March, and now we are um, launching this again as a advanced PV design and installation training class. My name is Kathy Redson. I'll be your host for this evening, um, and I'm also my business partner, Ryan Doty. We'll be joining you a little bit later on to take you through what we're offering and how you can work your way through our uh, offering here. So uh, welcome to the training, and we'll get started. So, uh, okay. so as I mentioned, uh, the solar MOOC began in um, March of 2012. Uh, both my partner Richard Stovall and I are NEPS certified and have been doing solar training for number of years now, and as the March 24th exam approached, we had a number of students that were contacting us that wanted tutoring for that exam. And so instead of offering just one-on-one -on -one sessions and doing the same thing over and over again, we started investigating various ways to reach out and be able to address a number of people at one time. And when we were looking into researching different uh, innovative education models, came upon this concept of what's known as a massive open online course. Uh, some of you may have heard of some of the exciting things that are happening in the education world today uh, with respect to open source education. Uh, there's been a lot of articles written about what's happening at Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, where uh, they have announced that almost all of their curriculum is being made available for free online, uh, all of their course materials, presentation all kinds of things that they're offering, and you don't have to pay anything unless you want to get a degree. Uh, that caught hold, and also Stanford University last year had an artificial intelligence class that was broadcast uh, for free through their Stanford Engineering Everywhere, SEE program at Stanford. By the time that class finished, there were 79,000 people from all over the world that had enrolled and were learning and sharing information. Um, and so. What's, what's happening is that we're trying now in the field of education to break down traditional economic barriers to advanced information and, and high-level higher education. And the real benefactors are students and people all over the world that can now expand their access to high-level information and content in a variety of different industries. And uh, when everybody can share and provide that information, um, everybody wins by advancing the knowledge base and advancing in various technologies. So since uh, we, we launched our first class, March 1st, and it was, it was supposed to end on March 23rd, and what happened was nothing short of remarkable. Uh, we had an overwhelming global demand by the time we were finished. We had over 250 participants from 14 different countries, and we decided that uh, that proved to us that there really is a value to providing advanced high-level information accessible to everyone, which only helps the industry at large to grow and to ensure that people have access to high-level uh, training that helps them uh, put together sophisticated, safe, reliable, and most importantly, optimized PV installations on a global scale and meet one another that are also uh, developing systems and projects and be able to form these online collaborative communities of progress centered around high-level education and best practices to ensure that the industry grows in a, in a, in a way where we all kind of um, come together. In a way, a massive open online course is to education what Facebook and other things were to the Arab Spring. Uh, when a few people gathered in that square in Egypt, nobody had any idea how by allowing everyone to connect with one another, that, that would provide a platform for growth of that movement. And between the movement in Egypt, Tunisia, and Syria, Libya, we now see that this World Wide Web is a lot more than just connecting people to find information. It connects people in ways where they can meet and learn and, and get to know other people from all over the world to advance various uh, things. And so uh, this solar MOOC, is the first time that anybody has ever used a massive open online course format for the advancements of a particular trade or skill set, such as installing solar panels. 
And as of today, we have over 370 people enrolled, and they've been literally every few minutes we're getting another hit since an article that came out on Tuesday uh, in Renewable Energy World that basically uh, promoted this as a featured product. Um, all over the world for people that want to get access to solar training. Um, so we've seen other companies come out with free solar training, but that's primarily been as entry level or sometimes even just, you know, marketing of other courses that they offer. So they'll offer some kind of free webinar or free introductory course that talks about, you know, the industry somewhat, but really is kind of a, a sales tool for all the other offerings that they offer for a fee. Uh, what we've done is kind of come up with a different approach, and um, that that is to uh, offer our training um, where we have entry-level training, just like other companies do, uh, and we'll talk about that in just a second. But um, we also believe that by making our advanced training accessible to everyone, where people are really trying to design high-performing systems, that, that, that really is uh, a way to, to share the best knowledge out there and, and, and accelerate the growth of this industry. So we are Soul Power People Incorporated. We were founded in December of 2011. Uh, my partners, uh, Richard Stovall and Ryan Doty and Sarah Raymer, we all have a background, many years experience in TV design and installation. Richard and Ryan and I worked together at another company which uh, did um, education and we really felt that um, there would be a demand to offer what we wanted to bring to the world as free training by trying to come up with a platform to host um, multiple uh, PD people in the industry and, um, and offer that as a, at no charge. So that's what we're working on here with Solar MOOC, and uh, the results have been amazing. Uh, we are an ISPQ accredited continuing education provider. We were awarded that accreditation in March of 2012. Uh, we, are, we subsequently um, submitted our uh, application and were approved as a NABSEP entry level exam provider. Basically, with those two credentials, it's been the um, kind of the gold standard in this industry for uh, training providers with the ISPQ accreditation. Um, that shows that, you know, our program, the training that we offer, has been put through a very rigorous evaluation process uh, where we've had to justify not only the quality and um, applicability of our training to comparing high-performing and successful people to enter the industry, but also had to demonstrate our own credentials as instructors and set up an education uh, company that, that really sticks to the highest standards with respect to integrity, ethics, maintaining confidentiality of students, and adhering to best practices as a training provider. NABSEP also looks to that ISPQ accreditation in awarding what they call their entry-level exam providers, people that take some of our training that want to sit for the NABSEP entry-level exam are qualified to do so, and that's very important because uh, as you, there's lots of information. There are books, there are textbooks, there are college courses, or you know seminars, webinars that are happening, YouTube videos. But in order for someone who's going to devote themselves and the time and effort that it takes to get trained with respect to um, photovoltaics, uh, you really want to make sure that somebody is, is approved by both of these organizations for their program and their quality of education as instructors has been. Uh, you know, vetted by these third-party accreditation agencies. So uh, our company, as far as our instructional staff, Richard Soval, our CEO, is an ISPQ master trainer. Uh, he was awarded that um, 2011 based on years of experience as an educator, as a PV installer and designer, and somebody who's been logged several hundreds, if not almost thousands of hours uh, in front of students teaching this curriculum. My name, I'm, I'm, I am Kathy, the next person on the list there. I'm also an ISPQ instructor, and um, I've also spent, uh, in addition to my m many years in this industry, uh, several years in education with a background in curriculum development, a master's in education, and uh, Richard and I are both NABSEP certified PV installers. I both hold the PV technical sales NABSEP certification, and Richard also holds the solar thermal certification. Uh, that, combined with his LEED certification, make him probably the most credentialed uh, instructor in the industry today. Um, I've also been through HERS training and passed the HERS Rater exam. Um, and so 
Richard and I bring uh, information, you know, from a variety of aspects um, with respect to sustainability and uh, demonstrated our knowledge and experience in those ways. Brian and Sarah are also instructors with us. Brian is our chief technology officer. He's the mastermind behind our website and uh, our, uh, a lot of what we're doing here with the MOOC. He is the one who aggregates all the information that gets posted on a daily basis, the way the MOOC um, is structured, puts out the daily newsletters. He's an active blogger, and he is just a uh, jack of all trades when it comes to making sure our technology platform is functioning. And that uh, Ryan has had a lot of training at um, NAVSET based courses at the entry level in advance. And uh, Sarah Raymer, our Director of Education and Training, is working to, to, to distill uh, some of the material that we've created through the solar move and other means and original coursework as part of our new solar move academy. She's our director of education and training and has been a real uh, asset to our company in helping us um, develop these micro courses as well as our strategy for pushing out in some of our other training around the country. Um, our mission as Soul Power People is we believe that the biggest obstacle to worldwide adoption of PV on a massive scale is education. And there have been several articles re recently appearing in Green Tech Media, uh, Renewable Energy World, Solar Pro. Uh, everybody realizes that um, you know education on a variety of fronts is something that is holding back our industry um, on the most basic level. You know, when you ask the average person about solar, they think it's complicated. They think it's you know. Now, with recent issues that have been in the press, they are concerned on safety and uh, reliability. And uh, boy, you know, it's really, really important that there's a, a method for people to get the proper information about this technology available and in the hands of people that want to see solar become a much bigger player within our, our global energy mix. Um, and, you know, so, so important for the success of our industry that whatever knowledge is out there, at any level, from people that have been in this for the last 30 or 40 years, to people that just have a background as electrical engineers or electricians that are new to the field, um, as we all come together as an industry and unite around sharing our best practices to ensure that PV is safe and reliable and optimized, then, you know, as people uh, embrace this technology from a financial standpoint, they go ahead and take the plunge to install solar, they realize the economic benefits that it promises. Uh, there's nothing worse than having a system installed, you know, where it's not set up properly oriented to the sun uh, or, or it's in the shade, and then, you know, just takes one person that, take, that, that invests in solar out there at a cocktail party or a gathering that says, you know, I have solar and it hasn't done anything for me uh, to just, you know, create a, a bunch of naysayers. And usually it's not the solar's fault, it's the fact that it wasn't designed and installed properly. And so we all have a vested interest in this industry to make sure that education does not lead to poorly performing systems or unsafe systems. Um, you know, while we're on this subject, uh, last week, or I guess it was March 23rd, there was a fire on a PV system uh, when they went to energize the system uh, on a big installation in, in New Jersey. You may have heard about this fire and uh, the press that came out, of course, was talking about the firefighters, you know, being concerned and there's lack of experience with TV and everything else. And um, when you look at the story and what actually happened, uh, this fire had absolutely nothing to do with the PV equipment. It was an installer error with a reverse polarity essentially in the combiner box where just regular electrical installation failure led to uh, a problem in the system once it was energized. And so, you know, that was an installer error. That was not any kind of thing related to the technology of, of PV modules or other equipment in a PV installation. And you know, that is, just speaks volumes for the importance of proper training, proper credentials, and, you know, a, a need for the industry to unite around education to make sure that anybody out there that's practicing in any way uh, has access to whatever they need to have access to to be able to go out there and, and represent our interests as well. Um, as far as offering this training available, 
for free and open source. You know, we believe in abundance versus scarcity. Our whole economic system, you know, the definition of, of economics is the allocation of resources in it that are scarce, you know, in a world of unlimited wants and needs. Uh, there is unlimited amounts of solar energy available, and it's one of the great equalizing energy resources all over the globe, something that shines, you know, in variable degrees, but pretty much uniformly everywhere on Earth. And if we can populate our planet with uh, solar modules that are designed not only in, in a way to optimize our production, but also even sometimes to multiply their usage by perhaps using them as shade structures, uh, rainwater catchment, charging for electric vehicles. Uh, the, the more uses you can put a system to by installing it in a way that maximizes its productivity, the more benefits people can re realize. And so when it comes to information such as education, knowledge, and expertise, we believe that when you share, there's more. And as we try to attract uh, additional experts like those that participated with us in our pilot class to join us and share what they know for the betterment of the industry, for the betterment of all, then um, everybody wins. And so as we expand this MOOC and as we expand into our Solar MOOC Academy, our mission is to continue to always provide open source, high level, advanced, important education that maximizes the productivity of PV installations in a way that's free and open to all. We know that we have some people registered for our course that are designers and installers at various levels of experience. You know, we have electrical engineers, um, uh, electricians, and we also have curriculum developers, educators, other training providers that are logging in, and we make whatever content we can aggregate through this MOOC available to anyone and everyone to either better their programs or offer uh, high-level training, and if our materials can help that in any way, we're open to that, encourage that. In fact, um, with our expanded content, one thing to know is, well, as our, whereas our first MOOC was pretty much geared toward our core audience of attendees who were preparing for the NABSEP PV installer exam that was held on March 24th, of 2012, um, we still want to focus the level of material through this MOOC at an advanced level. And so because that's the case, as we expand and roll out a training um, regimen through the next several months and weeks, um, we encourage anybody that's involved in the MOOC uh, to go, if you haven't already, to seek whatever kind of PD entry-level training there is available to build some of your fundamental knowledge and uh, uh, background information so that what we're going to be going over in this class, if any questions at all, you have that base foundation of knowledge. Um, if you go to the NABSEP website, they have a list of all NABSEP PV entry-level entry exam providers, and uh, there's several companies, community colleges, programs available that we encourage you to find out about and if you feel that some of what we cover here, you need additional background or information on. Uh, you know, there's really no substitute sometimes for um, that, that entry-level base training, and we encourage you to do that in an on-site classroom environment where you can ask questions and interact with other students and other teachers. It's very important for that entry-level training that you also uh, find a way to get your hands on this equipment. You can certainly read books and, and attend this class and, and learn a lot by doing online coursework about PV technology, design and installation best practices. However, there is no substitute for actually taking a course where you can actually participate in hands-on training labs that allow you to participate in a fully functional PV installation. And just, just be sure that the uh, companies and places that you seek this training offer that hands-on component. Um, if you're going to be doing that. And it should be a hands-on component that involves working with actual commercial-scale PV equipment, not desktop models or uh, breadboards or simulated environments that, you know, use other equipment that maybe conceptually show you how a PV system 
works from, you know, when the electrons start moving at the module level and travel all the way through the load. But if you can actually get that experience working with equipment that is commercial or field level equipment, um, then when you go out to actually uh, relate what you, you know, the concepts in, in the MOOC and other training to, to real PD equipment, it'll be a lot more meaningful to you um, because you'll have actually worked with inverters and modules and racking systems and disconnects and balancing systems and all of these things that are part of any fully functional system. It should be a lab that's not just a demonstration lab where you watch somebody else uh, or that, um, you know, doesn't really turn on. There are plenty of programs that will offer full-fledged training where at the end you actually go through the full steps in commissioning, powering on a system, and, and going through troubleshooting and talking about maintenance and documentation so that you actually hit the ground running. Um, in addition to the solar MOOC, uh, Soul Power People offers our SPV training series, which you can find out about on our website in just a few minutes when Ryan shows you some of the things that you need to know to enroll in the MOOC, in the MOOC Academy. Maybe he can also, you know, take a second and jump over to our course page and show you about that and some of the training that we have coming up. Um, we offer not only uh, three full functional installations in that class, but we also offer a uh, engineering lab where we've added some exercises helping you understand what happens when you, you know, work with different modules and uh, how you connect them and work together, learning how to use, you know, tools and measurement tools. We also teach you how to do a full-scale shading analysis. Um, there, that's a big important part of any type of site assessment. And then you get to work with all these tools hands-on. We do those labs in addition to our installation labs, which involve an off-grid system and a string inverter grid type system as well as a microinverter system. And all the labs are fully functional, setting up uh, a really true training experience. So. If we can do it, and I know there are several other companies that do very similar programs, and we definitely encourage you to get that entry-level training wherever you can. Um, in addition, there are several other useful resources that if you're new to PV or you don't have a real strong background in some of the technologies, an invaluable resource that, that I call, the, you know, for me it's the Bible of solar, which is Solar Pro Magazine. Um, you go onto the Solar Pro website, which is www.solarprofessional.com. If you're a practitioner in the industry, you can enroll for a free subscription to that magazine, and then uh, you can get the electronic version, you can get the uh, hard copy version, and that uh, includes several high-level articles each month. Um, I'm sorry, it's a bi-monthly publication. Uh, as well as in their online edition, they have additional resources, sometimes programs or charts or other spreadsheets and things that expand on the information that's in the hard copy magazine. Home Power Magazine's been around for 30 or 40 years, and it has all kinds of information about sustainable living and uh, sustainable uh, energy technologies from solar, solar thermal, small wind, uh, geothermal. They have all kinds of case studies and articles and uh, excellent, excellent um, articles written by people that have been in the industry for a long time and actually have been designing and installing systems for years. It's uh, been around for a long time, and when you get a three-year subscription to that magazine, you also then can have access to all of their archived publications. So between Solar Pro and Home Power, there's just a wealth of information available to you. We're going to center a, a time, times with this, within this course some of the material that we'll ask for you to maybe do from a reading assignment or uh, other problem sets, um, we will be referring to what we consider to be the premier textbook in this industry. It's called Photovoltaic Systems. The second edition was released in 2010. The author is Jim Dunlop, and this is uh, not only a great introduction to solar technology, uh, but you know, every every time I open that book, I notice something I didn't notice in it before, whether that's a picture, a sidebar. Um, it comes with a CD of all kinds of extra resources and materials, articles, videos. And so in addition to just the textbooks, it really is a multimedia learning experience. Um, you can buy that book at jimdunlopsolar.com, and Jim um, would be happy to help you with that. Those of you that are instructors uh, for community college, 
people putting together programs, training providers. Um, you should know also that Jim sells a instructor resource kit that you can purchase um, with that, uh, that you can purchase through his website. Another resource that we use quite a bit is the Mike Holt 2011 NEC series. Um, and that includes not only um, a, a, the solar a book that we will we use quite a bit called uh, Solar Solar Voltaic and the 2011 NEC Code, but a series of other books and DVDs that update um, on the NEC from 2011, talk about grounding and bonding, uh, and several other areas which we think those resources are awesome. Um, we, not only are they very comprehensive in terms of guiding you through the code book, but they also provide excellent diagrams and pictures that kind of bring things to light. So as you get into PV advanced work, you absolutely have to become familiar with that code book. And there's really no better resource for that that I've found um, beyond this Mike Holt book. So Mike also has a bunch of other resources and webinars and things that he hosts on his website at Mike Holt Enterprises. So these are some great resources that will not only help you with things we're going to want you to be able to access as a participant in Solar MOOC, but also in your own growth and development on an advanced level. And so we certainly encourage you to look into those resources um, and hopefully uh, get involved with those. So um, with, with respect to this Solar MOOC, when I say we have expanded content, what we realize is that, uh, you know, in addition to the very rigorous and um, uh, challenging uh, PV installer exam, which is kind of the core justification for really making sure that people have access to advanced training materials and can prepare and pass that exam. Uh, with the recent changes to the NAB sub eligibility requirements for that, um, if you're an electrician or you have an electrical engineering degree or any other uh, related experience that, that qualifies under some of the um, Categories B through E, when you look at that new information on, the, on MAPSEP's website, um, they haven't really changed the rules too much as of January. But for people that normally tried to qualify to sit for that exam using category A, which are people without a real background in electrical or um, electrical engineering, they have now made it uh, a lot more challenging in order to meet those experience requirements. Instead of needing just two installations, um, as it used to be the case, you need to actually install five fully functional permanent, you know, TV systems. And so uh, two of them have to be greater than 2KW. And, you know, so it's very important that people look at those new NAVs that requirements and understand whether or not they'll be eligible. The deadline for applying for the next uh, September offering of the NAVs that PV install exam is July 13th. So those of you that are looking to obtain that credential that are involved in this MOOC from North America and will be hoping to get training and in preparation for the PV installer certification exam. Um, make sure you're kind of plotting out your course as far as how you will meet those experience requirements. And then uh, as we get into um, the solar MOOC, uh, we'll talk about how you can get some of the um, advanced training credits that you'll need for that as well. Coming up actually, Prior to that July 13th deadline is the deadline to apply if you are interested in sitting for the NAPS uh, PV Technical Sales Certification Exam. The deadline for that test for your application is May 22nd, 2012. And for those of you that can meet the requirements to get your application into that test or anyone that is considering preparing yourself uh, for that eventuality, we will be starting a Tuesday night group that starts on May 22nd, 2012, the day that that's due, and we'll take that right up until the exam, which happens in July, and uh, help with a group that meets, a subgroup that meets on uh, Tuesday night. So what you're seeing on this slide basically says that on Thursday night, as we have been offering this MOOC and will continue at 6 p.m. Central Time, we will focus on advanced TV design and installation content um, going forward in perpetuity, probably up to and past the September exam, as we welcome guest, guest lecturers and bring in additional content uh, for the um, 
for it based at that level. Um, Mondays we'll have a cluster of people that are keying on the PV installer exam that will focus in on all the issues related to uh, applying for and preparing for that test. Then Tuesday nights we'll have a subgroup starting in May that will be guiding people towards PV technical sales. All this, again, will be at the advanced level. So while we're on the subject, um, I also want to just uh, put a shout out to anybody that's attending this or uh, tuning in to a video recording of tonight's um, presentation where we are welcoming uh, application from those of you that are experts in the field or have a background in an area that is related to either the PV installer job task analysis or the PV technical sales job task analysis that are interested in being um, guest lecturers. We have created a special landing page for you to uh, register. It's, um, the, the address is listed at the bottom here, info.solarpeople.com slash solarmoop dash guest dash lecture dash registration. And when you fill that out, we will evaluate um, what you like to present on and uh, contact you. And if, if, if it's appropriate, we will um, schedule you on a, on a topic to allow you to, uh, you know, help prepare people for aspects related to the two exams or spread knowledge and experience that you have um, to attendees to the MOOC throughout the world. So we are open to other industry-related content. But, but we will be uh, scrutinizing that for its applicability to really helping, you know, practitioners in the, practitioners in this industry seeking uh, advanced information to develop their business, develop their business model, or uh, you know, prepare for bigger projects on a variety of ways. Um, and so we will post those as we determine whether or not they're relevant to the audience uh, for Solar MOOC. What we've also announced recently is that we are going to also uh, be featuring a new um, continuing education and um, advanced training offering uh, called our Solar MOOC Academy. The conclusion of our uh, pilot course and as we continue to roll out additional MOOC sessions through the Thursday, Monday, and Tuesday sessions, as these groups form and as more and more content gets generated and as things get entered into the forums, into the chat rooms, into the practice problems, into the newsletters. Um, what we're going to be doing is kind of distilling content that gets generated from this freight train, solar MOOC, that's moving week after week after week, uh, generating um, participants and involvement on an advanced level for PV design and installation. We can distill some of those videos, uh, practice problems, answer keys, students, um, participant, what we call artifacts, which are practice problems generated by students, uh, feedback on uh, issues, uh, resource lists, reading assignments, things that get shared by students as participants in the MOOC into actual uh, coursework that people can sign up for through the Solar MOOC Academy. Um, and we call these micro courses that will be either two, four, or six hours in length and allow people to get advanced training credit that they might need to meet the advanced training requirements for eligibility for the NABSEP um, uh, certification exam training requirements according to the new eligibility requirements released in January, or for people that are looking for recertification with their NABSEP uh, recertification, meeting 18 continuing education units broken into three different categories um, relevant to uh, training in, 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 in PD, and uh, or people that are looking for CEUs for various state licensing boards. We are in the process of applying with every state uh, in the United States to gain CEU accreditation for our coursework for electricians and other industries where this type of training applies. We will announce those uh, CEU um, licensing CEU uh, approval as they're, as they're made available to us, but we will be building that out throughout the course of this year, and those of you that are uh, interested in taking um, coursework that will count for those things, you'll be able to do so. And basically, each of these courses will have a consistent format. So I'll have a course outline and a syllabus listing exactly what the course activities are, uh, what you'll be expected to do in order to get credit for the class, and then in terms of the content, 
Each class will have some sort of video or multimedia lecture that goes over the material that you're supposed to master in that course. Then we'll have additional reading assignments and related resources for your review to um, depth, provide more depth of knowledge on that content area. And we will give practice word problems with video and text-based solutions to show you how you actually work through those, master those concepts. And then each course also will feature various quizzes along with assessment feedback to let you know um, how you did in the course and give you information as far as whether you'll get credit. All the courses that are offered through the Solar and MOOC Academy will always be free and open to anyone to access any content through that course. When you enroll in the Solar MOOC Academy, which Brian, Ryan is going to take you through in just a moment, you will, that way we can begin tracking your progress. And you can take as many courses through the MOOC Academy as you wish. As you take those courses, just like with MIT, uh, those courses are free open to you, and so you can explore the content in those classes to your heart's content. Um, you need not pay for any of that knowledge, experience, quizzing of yourself, any of those things, um, until uh, you, you need to actually count it. So just like Stanford, just like MIT, just like other uh, people that are providing free open source education, if you end up where, let's say, you've taken 100 hours of training, and now, you know, because you're on a project where you're wanting to expand your knowledge on things or you just want to access this information, um, and then, let's say, you need 18 hours of advanced training credit in order to uh, complete your application uh, for, for example, the PD installer certification exam. All you would need to do is uh, log back into the Solar Move Academy, and then you would be... Um, you identify which courses that you had completed that you would now wish to pay for certificates of completion. And basically, you pay only for what you need. Uh, in the first 20 credit hours or CEUs that you need, you pay for it at a, at a value of $20 per hour. Once you've paid for the first 20 hours, if you need more credit hours or CEUs beyond that, you start at a level of $15 per hour. And then after you've reached 40 credit hours that you've paid for, uh, you pay for only $10 a credit hour plus at every CEU or credit hour that you need past 40. And so um, this way you're only, you're, you have open access to everything that you need, but you only need to pay for what you need actual certificates of completion for. And then, you know, this is a cumulative total that goes on throughout your involvement in uh, the MOOC Academy. And um, once you've reached that, 40-hour uh, threshold, and anything and everything you need that you need actual certificates for, you can get only you pay for that at only ten dollars an hour. But let me stress, you don't pay for anything unless you actually need some kind of document, documentation, or credential or transcript for the coursework that you've done. Okay. Um, all right. Moving along. So what I want to do now is I'm going to um, turn this over to Ryan Doty, who is our chief technology officer. Uh, Ryan has been uh, developing the procedure for enrollment in the MOOC, and he's going to give you a tour of our website and show you just exactly how you do that. And then I'll come back on uh, at the end here, and we'll wrap it up. Um, so thanks very much, and we'll be talking to you soon. Ryan? Okay, thanks, Kathy. Okay, hello everybody. Uh, well, this is our website, uh, soulpowerpeople.com. Um, and when you arrive on the website, uh, you'll see this uh, slider here. Um, this first slide here is the, uh, go back to it here, the uh, Solar MOOC Academy uh, slide. It talks about how it's uh, free interactive courses, live lectures, study sessions, daily newsletters, and you can uh, click the button there to go to it. The second slide is uh, um, in reference to what Kathy was talking about. Um, which is an opportunity for solar industry experts and professionals to uh, offer their knowledge and share this share uh, the abundance of uh, solar knowledge with uh, with the world. Um, this is a place where you can click uh, this button here and uh, um, sign up uh, if you're interested in that. Um, here's uh, just uh, our uh, on-site solar tour if you want to keep track of 
where we're at and where we're uh, putting on these uh, live uh, workshops. It's also up here on the uh, menu bar here for the schedule. More information on our courses here, but uh, first let me talk about uh, the Solar MOOC Academy. Now, um, the Solar MOOC Academy is, this, is something new we're launching um, that goes along with the Solar MOOC. And what the Academy is, and this page will change, uh, um, we are in the, in the process of developing these micro courses that you guys can all take for free. And um, later on, decide if you wanted to uh, um, get those continuing education credits uh, and pay for those credits uh, retroactively. But you can always take these classes for free. Um, and what this, uh, what this page here is, is going to uh, probably have a list of the, the micro courses that we're going to offer and a way for you to sign in um, as a student with a student ID and uh, continue uh, taking all the courses as they're derived from the, the Solar MOOC and uh, as they're developed by uh, us as well. Here on the right-hand side um, is the Solar MOOC sign-up. Um, I guess if you're attending this, uh, um, this evening, uh, you've already signed up for this because you got the email um, uh, in reference to this uh, webinar. This is where you sign up uh, for the Solar MOOC. Um, we also have a Solar MOOC newsletter. Now, this is the newsletter that goes out daily, which uh, will uh, provide, um, if there's a lecture, we'll provide the recording for that. It will also provide aggregated information from everyone that's participating in this. Um, from outside sources like Twitter or blog pages, LinkedIn, Facebook. And what you have to do is um, if you want to uh, provide people with information or discuss a topic, um, you have a blog site or uh, a Twitter account, you would do uh, this hashtag solar MOOC and then talk about whatever you want to talk about. And then I would be able to find that in the ether and compile all the information together <laughs> In the, into the newsletters that uh, you all receive on a daily basis. Um, what this, and this map here has already changed in the last couple of days. This shows um, a map of where all of our participants in the world are uh, who have joined the Solar MOOC. Um, and like I said, uh, just in the past few days, we've added several countries, uh, some of which I've never even heard of. So this is great. Um, wide, a worldwide audience here um, for the Solar MOOC. And then this is the state map, and I think this has also changed. Uh, the ones that are in green are, are uh, participants from, uh, from those states. Um, if you're new to this and you want to really know what a MOOC is, this is a great video that takes you uh, through the mechanics of a MOOC and what it actually is. And you can read about it a little bit uh, here. Um, but let me further explain uh, the newsletters um, right up here. Um, so the newsletters go out on a daily basis, and it's compiling all the information from all the participants around the world um, who are hashtagging Solar MOOC, and also uh, additional information that we provide along with um, the uh, live lectures from the guest lectures. Make sure we're loading up here. Um, so the newsletters you will receive in an email. And they will also live here on this page. Um, right here, we have the latest solar MOOC tweets. As you can see, no tweets found. Uh, we have taken a break since uh, the March pilot class for the NAPSET TV installer exam uh, solar MOOC. Um, but you will find the latest tweets here when uh, people start tweeting. Um, the, uh, all the uh, um, newsletters, at least the last 10, will live on this page here. Um, and uh, another way of getting to these newsletters is we have an archive. Um, the, uh, after the newsletters go out, the last 10 will, will live on this page here, and uh, we archive all the rest of them for easy access to get to. Um, you can view all the March newsletters here on this one, or you can go down and find a specific topic. If you wanted to watch Jim Dunlop's lecture on completing system installation that happened on March 19th, you click on this one, and it will take you to the video and all the other information that was provided in that newsletter. So every newsletter that goes out will be archived and will be able, you will be able to access it uh, any time. Um, I'd like to go back to the Solar MOOC Academy page. Like I said before, this page will change and uh, provide you with uh, information on how to sign up for the micro courses that we will be offering, um, all uh, which are free. Um, 
and uh, get back to the newsletter page. So I'm going to show you something that's kind of neat here. Along with the daily newsletters and um, with the, uh, all the tweets from that day, um, we have an interactive 3D Twitter map. Now, obviously this thing's small now because uh, we ended the, the tweet, but as this thing grows, this is very, very cool. It's interactive. You can see everyone who's tweeting about this. You click on um, the names. You can see their tweets and uh, follow what everyone is, uh, is saying about what's going on. Um, all of our newsletters get uh, tweeted here as well. Um, and this is just a really cool uh, interactive map um, where it has all the tweets in, the, in one place for you to access. Um, again, the latest newsletters will be here on the right. Um, we also have, besides subscribing to the newsletter, we have uh, a forum. Now, the forum is where uh, everyone who signed up can get together and, 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 and um, expand on a particular topic or provide uh, other participants with uh, additional information or maybe quizzes that they've generated or uh, resources that they found that have helped them. Um, and this is a great place for uh, all of our participants to come together and to uh, communicate um, and collaborate. Um, this is a very collaborative um, process. The, the Solar MOOC is, um, it, it is bringing the world together around uh, very important topics, very um, important subject matter uh, um, revolving around the solar industry. Um, and like Kathy said before, let me go back to the home page, we have um, a special slide for uh, people, industry experts and professionals um, that would like to share their knowledge. And you click the button here, and this is where you can register. Um, if you or someone you know is, a, is an industry expert or an expert on a particular topic uh, uh, involved around the solar industry, this is uh, where they can uh, come sign up, um, pick a topic they would like to, uh, to discuss, um, and, uh, or fill in one there. Um, the great thing about this is uh, this is also a platform for this individual to promote their business. Um, we uh, have, have gotten uh, other uh, solar industry educators from around the country involved as guest lecturers. Um, this is a, a great way to share in the abundance of uh, information and at the same time promote what you're doing. Um, talk about uh, what your company is doing and uh, what you're involved in and you have a, uh, a worldwide audience um, at your leisure within the, uh, the solar MOOC. Um, so again, if you or someone you know would like to be a presenter, um, we find uh, particular slots for you to lecture in um, and give your presentation. Um, we also have um, our uh, general uh, company blog that you can subscribe to. Um, this doesn't uh, necessarily um, uh, connect uh, directly with the solar MOOC, but uh, it is also all the different things that we are doing, like uh, the solar training we did in uh, Santa Fe, along with uh, uh, some videos of the install, um, a good uh, video here of the uh, interview, with the, uh, the RV park owner where we had the uh, um, workshop. It's a solar powered RV park. Uh, it was really neat. Um, so you can stay in touch with uh, us through our blog and, and what we're doing. Um, again, you can also go to our schedule page in which uh, shows you our on-site schedule. We are uh, traveling the country uh, at the same time as uh, providing the world with the solar MOOC information, we are traveling the country and providing on-site training as well. Um, so you can go to our schedule and, and check it out there. If you wanted to read more about um, our courses that we offer in person, um, you can go to our courses page and it uh, um, talks more in depth about what our 40-hour uh, on-site class uh, entails. Um, well, along with that, um, we do offer, uh, obviously, professional services as well, um, resources. Um, we uh, have great useful links here and some downloads as well. Um, and uh, in our media, all the videos and photos from our on-site workshops will be there as well. 
Um, so uh, that is uh, pretty much all I, to, all I have to say. And Kathy, do you want to add to this? Kathy, I think you're, you're muted. Yes, there you go. I agree. So, uh, yeah, Brian, you've really covered a lot of information there, and um, I think that's excellent, and we really have more there. Uh, and, you know, like we said, um, it's, it's not just about soul power people. Um, there, we, we definitely encourage for you to look into, you know, the, the training that you need that's local to you, that's uh, available around the industry. We will be featuring people from just about every training company, and uh, expert in the industry that we can um, have as part of this MOOC as we go forward. And so this is all about inclusion. It's all about um, sharing knowledge and sharing resources and meeting one another and creating this, like we call it, a collaborative community of progress dedicated to seeing solar um, become the most widespread uh, energy technology on a global scale. So we welcome anybody's suggestions. As far as uh, topic areas, we'll, you'll be seeing several. We're, we're working right now on six, the launch of our first six micro courses that will be coming within the next few days. Um, and we'll be seeing uh, that way people can start going through some of the micro courses through the academy and accumulating the hours that they might need for their advanced training. Um, tune back in with us on Monday, April 16th, and we're going to cover our first content domain area for the um, PV installer job task analysis. The way these Monday sessions are going to work is that you'll see um, each mo Monday night, we will take in succession each of the content domain areas from the PV installer job task analysis. So Monday, April 16th, will be uh, an online telepresence session like this one, covering verifying system design. Uh, the following Monday will be Content domain number two, which is project management. The following Monday will be installing system components. And so we will be uh, going, you know, each week through each of those areas. Our Thursday night lectures will be on a variety of topics, but we'll probably also kind of loosely associate around that kind of topic of the week based on the PV installer job task analysis. And then as we get into May and June, where we'll have more people involved in the MOOC preparing for the PV technical sales test. Uh, we may have certain evenings within those times on the Thursdays that will be a general session dealing with some of the business development, qualifying the customer, content, you know, site assessment, and other areas related to um, up to that. So um, we uh, really appreciate your, your attendance tonight. Let me um, jump back to just our final slide here for this well, presentation. Let me make you a – I need to make oh, you a presenter, Kathy. Thing. I'm – I, okay. But I did, I did want to stress that something I also wanted to say, uh, you're welcome to Sam who said thanks in the chat. Um, um, one thing I really wanted to stress about uh, the solar MOOC, um, you can participate as much as you want. You can be uh, an active uh, in, in all the social networking, which is what really makes the, 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 sol the MOOC uh, very dynamic and very uh, different from a lot of uh, – other uh, platforms of education is that it gives you, the participant, the ability to share information with all other participants around the world via uh, Twitter or Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube if you want to make a video, and all of this will be compiled into these newsletters, newsletters that go out to the hundreds and hundreds of people from around the world that are signed up to this. Um, and uh, I just wanted to stress that again. It's all about hashtag Solar MOOC. It's all about tagging everything you put out there with Solar MOOC, um, and that way it can be aggregated into one newsletter and uh, provide uh, everyone with that information. Um, so let me make you, Kathy, the uh, presenter so you can wrap this up. Um, I want to thank everyone for, for their time uh, this evening. Um, and you're in control, Kathy.
Kathy, do you think you're still muted? There you go. Okay. Thank you, Ryan. Sorry for that uh, dead air there. Um, uh, so that was great. And if there's anything from, from anybody here that they did, didn't understand or something that they want more information on, please do send us an email. In fact, um, I've included here the uh, contact information. Um, you can reach either uh, myself, Ryan, or Richard um, at uh, credson, philpowerpeople.com. There's my phone number, Ryan and Richard. Um, you'll see Richard on Monday, April 16th with the Verifying System Design launching into the content for the PV installer job test analysis in those repeating six-week cycles. Um, but feel free to call us as well. I mean, we, we are here for you. We are here and dedicated to the further, the further development of solar as, a, uh, solar, um, as an energy source on a global scale. So send us an email, call us, let us know what you need, let us know how we can help you. Um, we'll take any suggestions. We are hosting the MOOC, but as Ryan said, uh, it's not about us. It's about you, the students. We are creating this as an education platform to unite people throughout the industry in this, you know, making knowledge the catalyst for widespread growth of solar. And so we will continue to guide this group and grow this group through our promotion of the MOOC and our dissemination of information through this format. Uh, but what really makes it take off is as people, you know, again, any content, anything that you put out there on Twitter, on Facebook that has that hashtag solar MOOC, that's how people will find you. That's how clusters will form um, of people that want to share information with one another and form these long-lasting um, collaborative groups through those social media connections. And if that comes to our newsletters, if that comes through contacting us first, whatever we can do, let us know to make this um, an ongoing thing for, for everybody to benefit from. So I apologize for a little bit here for the background noise where I am. Um, but uh, Brian, if you want to go ahead and wrap this up because it's kind of, there's a lot of background noise. And um, but look for us next Thursday. We have that TV installer. Cluster forming on Monday, same time, 6 p.m., and look in your emails, those of you that are uh, signed in, to get the invitation to that one, and we and I am signing off, and we'll see you then. All right, thanks, Kathy, and uh, again, you, uh, to Sam, you're welcome. said thanks again. Uh, there's no problem. That is what we are here for, so uh, I will be uh, signing off as well, ending the recording. Uh, look for the uh, newsletter uh, with this video, and... Uh, and uh, welcome, and uh, um, let's uh, share the knowledge. All right, goodbye, guys.